he was persistent with the group bike. Yeah. You, like when Ree went off in a little bit of a huff <laughs> kind of thing, you gave us the option, do you want to keep her in a group, don't we? And you was very like constantly keeping involved with us if we'd done something wrong. Like you wouldn't tell us no, you would give us the other option kind of thing, like when the blocks, you gave us the other option. Yeah. Um, a little, they said, they said to me that, go, go, back go. <laughs> they said to me, um, come on. also with come it, on. Come on. they felt that you didn't seem, no, you wasn't happy with the group, I can't think of the word they said, but like, because we were all very loud and yeah. you wasn't used to the Lovely. loudness, yeah, yeah, and the banter that we caused. Um, but they felt that you was really good, except we felt that you didn't feel very comfortable, okay. in a sense. But everything was really good, and you just kept on top and made sure we was all listening at okay. all times. Thank but that you. was it. That's right. Thank you. No, I'm not used to loud groups. My, very loud. My uni groups can be loud, but they're quite quiet. Yeah. Um, so. And it's a lot harder when people are not paying attention as much, and yeah. you're trying to talk over them, and then you feel like... Yeah. But no, um, you've got a good group, yeah, if you're allowed, but you do come up with good ideas, you do communicate with each other. Um, the only thing is, you don't know how to communicate other than talking. Yeah. That's the only thing. Yeah, you, we're very verbal. Yeah, <laughs> but you don't know how to use body language so much as well as talking. Yeah. Which is, that's the only thing, but other than that, you're a great group. Very loud. <laughs> yeah. Which is good sometimes.